Asian-based modeling and global health, an analysis of various social distancing policies using cobweb. In order to mitigate community spread of the virus, governments worldwide have enacted varying measures of social distancing and other health policies. This study aims to investigate the effectiveness of social distancing policies being implemented in four major cities, Toronto, Canada, Milan, Italy, Guangzhou, China, and Cape Town, South Africa. For the purpose of this slideshow, we will be focusing on the model of Toronto, Canada. The city of Toronto has enacted a cohort system where students returning to school are divided into groups of about 15 students. This is because if students are within these groups of 15, if a student within a group is to get infected, they will not be able to spread it beyond their cohort, because the cohort will go into quarantine, thus limiting the spread of COVID-19 among cohorts. For our model, agents are able to order themselves into these cohorts within the first 10 ticks, our units of time within the simulation. Teaching staff, however, depicted as pink agents, are able to move in between these cohorts. This way, they can spread the disease if they are to get infected from one cohort to another. There are five random agents infected on the board, and they are dispersed among these cohorts. The quantitative data that we retrieve from this model lines up with the literature. In the model with the mo most enforcement of our cohort policy, Although there is some periodicity associated with the rise and fall of the infection rate, overall it is a downward trend, and we can see that the curve is flattening and cases are getting lower as time progresses. However, in the extreme case without a cohort system and no social distancing measures, as shown in graph 3, there is no downward trend and no periodicity to be seen. The periodicity that we see across all graphs, except for graph 3, comes as a result of teachers moving in between these cohorts and spreading the disease from one cohort to another. If a student in a cohort is to get infected, they will eventually spread to their whole cohort before the cohort goes into quarantine. Thus, there is a large upward trend as soon as an agent gets infected within a cohort, and then this falls down after the cohort goes into quarantine and eventually these cases are allowed to dissipate. Overall, this model has shown great promise for the cohort system and has shown the effect that it can have in comparison to a system of going or returning to school without it. As such, we are able to recommend the cohort system. We have performed similar studies for other models using different cities and we've been able to recommend the majority of our social distancing measures. Thank you for listening and have a great day.